The guy, the guy was wearing a bunny suit. Hey, what rhymes with ambulance? Thinking malevolent. My, my, my hockey pants. How about annoyance? How about the uh, assemblance? It's not a word. Like an assemblance of people, that's a word. That's good enough. Wait, so you really think that saving Young Thunder's life is gonna help your music career? Hey, it couldn't hurt. I mean, Young Thunder's last album sold a million copies, another million in ringtones, and after our swift response to his party-related mishap tonight, you know, if I slip my demo, he's got to listen to it. It's the code of the streets. Seriously, how hard could it be to write rap lyrics? Look, I already got a bunch here. This is gold. Uh, you're in my ambulance. My love to you will advance. Let's turn left up here. What? Turn left up here, right here. Oh, right here, turn left. It's okay. Hey, hey, get off me, man. Where are you going? Where are you gonna go? Let me Hold take you to the hospital. Let me take you to the hospital. Um, come here. Fine. You wanna get over here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Hey. I don't want to wait 10 hours. I'm fine. You're my favorite kind of patient, dude. Hey, Oz, you mind watching this kid? Right, if he moves, you shoot him. Okay. <laughs> There's a zoo out there. Yeah, and that's just the staff. And look, can you prioritize this, you know, so we can get back out there? What do you got? We have this kid. These other kids are trying to drown him, and then he, then he fainted, he passed out. I gotta get a neurologist, and for someone whose brains are... Never mind, you don't want to know. Well, we tried to check him out in the ray, but he was totally resisting. Just give us five minutes, we can let him loose. I'll do what I can. Dr. Hamilton. Hey, that's Young Thunder. Take him to the back, take him to the back. He saved his life tonight. I'm gonna go see how he's doing. Hey, hey, Thunder, all right. Give him some room, people, now. Come on, now. Could just scoop them off. I'd hate to see those go missing. I need some fresh air. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. I need some fresh air, too. I hate the small hospitals. You're not gonna let me out of here, are you? No. You want me to call your folks for you? I lost their number. So why were those kids beating you up? What? No, it was just my friends fooling around. <laughs> Doctor's gonna wonder where you got those bruises. <sighs> fell? Uh, those bruises don't look like you fell. It looks like you were defending yourself. Did they teach you that in medic school? No. I've had to defend myself once or twice. There was this one time I was at this intake facility. I was waiting for a new foster family. You're a kennel kid? Pretty much a lifer. What'd you do? I was stupid, man. There was this bike. I thought it was common property. Of course, the biggest kid owned it. I took it for a little spin. That'll do it. Yeah. He got his two friends to hold me down. They started wailing on my belly. Toby. Hey, John. I got that book for you. I'm gonna leave it in the locker later. Is that cool? No problem. Yeah. Thanks, man. Kid run by. You got a runner. Description? A uh, street kid named Daniel. And? And he's a boy. <sighs> so are half the other kids in the city. OK, he's short for his age. He's like 5'4", short dark hair. That just blows the case wide open, doesn't it? I think he might have been wearing jeans. 
So what do you do? Nothing. Okay, so let me get this straight. You got a teenage boy, his first name is Daniel, short, dark hair, who's done nothing. Yeah, you're good. I tell you what, I'm gonna put it on the most wanted list, all right? Have a good day. Dude, I need the demo by the weekend. So get the software off the internet. Listen, when you're my tour DJ and we're selling out arenas, no one's gonna care you failed your driver's ed test. I don't care what mom says. Ma, yes. Yes, the driver's license is important. Yes, I will be at dinner on Saturday. Bye-bye. Tell me you have turntables. Toby. What? You coming to Young Thunder's party with me? I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. If I don't roll with a deep crew, Young Thunder's gonna think I'm a wannabe gangster type. As you are a wannabe gangster. I hate to break it to you, man. So when that kid pull? Could be his way of saying, leave me alone. But you saw what they were doing to him. And they could have killed him. Toby, kids do stupid things. If he doesn't want your help, he doesn't want your help. Well, he doesn't want it, but he needs it. You just pull over here for a minute. What? Just pull over. Hey, you kids know where I can find Daniel? Kid named Daniel? Okay. All right. Great. They don't trust uniforms. I'm looking for a kid named Daniel. Any particular reason? Not that I'd help you if you had one. If you had one. Would you help me if I had one? Let's just say I'm not the last and found. Hey, listen. We picked him up last night. He was worked over pretty good. Now, if he wants to file a police report. What? Give you a call? Give you a call. You get him to call Detective Charlie Marks. Thanks, but I can already tell you this kid's not going to want to file charges. Keep the card. But you may want to try around college in Bathurst. Lose the uniform. Thank you. me here? That's the guy? She's the paramedic from the other day. Yeah? Why is he looking for you? I don't know. Ask him. What the hell do you want? That's none of your business, man. Yeah, um, what do you want? Look, I just want to talk. Hey, let's give us a minute. Why don't you give me a reason? Okay, you want a reason? 
That was six months for assault. That's what you get for beating the crap out of a kid that age. In front of witnesses, none of this? That's kind of stupid, man. How old are you, 17? What, 18? Huh? Oh, don't worry, you're not gonna go to Juvie. You'll go to Dorchester or Kingston. That's pretty cool, huh? You're a tough guy. You can handle it. Hey, Danny, don't say nothing. Listen, man, you gotta get yourself checked out. I'm fine. I don't think you are. I don't think you're meant for the streets, Daniel. So, if you foster Daniel, just a dollar a day can provide him with the food and medicine he needs. All right, okay, so foster care isn't perfect. All right, but it's safe. Putting you some poster boy for the loss and left behind? Is home really that bad? I can get you some help. I'm fine. I can take care of myself. Yeah, what? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna steal car radios? Are you more interested in pharmacies? Get bent. Hey, whoa, come on, man. What about Ramon? What about Ramon? Is he making you do this? Because if he is, you gotta tell the cops. You don't do it, you're dead. I'm with you, Ramon. Talk, talk, dead. dead. Look, I'm not telling anybody anything. Oh, Daniel, what are you running from, man? Who's Lisa Grayson? What? What did you do to her? Look, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Just get the hell out of my way. Oh, how's he doing? Ah, oh, he's fine. I don't think the uh, suckling pig is going to press any charges. They rarely do. Do you remember that, that kid who ran away? The one with the jeans? Yeah, Daniel. I found him. Oh, you did? Yeah, I think he's in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, there's this guy named Ramon, and I think he's boosting for him. Ramon Vasquez? I don't know his last name. Vasquez, we've been on him now for a couple years. He's got a rap sheet that runs like an encyclopedia of dysfunction. Drugs, salt. Bring it in. Oh, yeah, big time. Although the past year he's been pretty quiet. I think he's been uh, watching his back. Or he's got someone else doing it for him. Sounds like Ramon. Well, I think that this Daniel kid might be involved in some drugstore robbery. So. Did I tell you that? No, not exactly, but I think he's caught up in something and he can't get out. OK, well, where can I find this kid? You know, actually, I should probably find him first and talk to him. OK, well. Please be careful. Hey. You again? Are you moving in? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I thought you'd be more into coloring books. Danny's not here. Just go away. All right, just tell Daniel I stopped by. I'm gonna get right on that. You know, Danny, you're beginning to get a little bit too popular. Hey there. You again. Charlie Marks says you're a freak. She did. You didn't think I was gonna check you out? Well. Cuz, get your feet off the couch. She also said that you're a freak I can trust. She did. So who are you looking for now? I'm looking for Lisa Grayson. Yeah, sweet kid. She ran away. She had some issues, and I could never get her to tell me what was wrong. You know where she is now? Home, I hope. Where's that? White Rock, B.C. Broke my own cardinal rule and bought our bus ticket. You know, 
She wasn't built for the streets. Book before he talks to you. Come on, get out of here. Thank you. Change chefs on me, so I like the foodie better. Funny how 20 bucks to buy you a forwarding address. Where do I know you from? What can I do for you, officer? Tell me, what do you know about this plague of drugstore break ins? I'm shocked. Come on, Ramon. Be in here, your specialty. And you've got a soft spot for pharmaceutical trades, don't you? You can try past tense, all right? Mm. We women say I was an exuberant child and I had no place to channel my energy. Where are you getting your protein from, Ramon? I'm in demolition. Mm. You like destroying things? Is there a point to this? Word on the street is that uh, you're behind all these pharmacy break-ins. Is that so? Mm-hmm. And you're getting the kids to hit them for you. Yeah. You have a vivid imagination. Is this the reason why you're in my face right now? Well, if you say you had nothing to do with it, mm. You don't mind if I keep my eye on you, do you? But you know, this window. Us out. Where's he at now? He's back in the suit. Yo, you want me to go fetch him? No, no. Because I'm going to take care of him personally when the time is right. Don't tell him anything. I just want to make sure Lisa's all right. Too late for her. Is she in danger? Lisa's dead, understand? I killed her. I killed her. I killed her. Shop on Queen. Ah, they know where we are. They can hit me on my pager. All right, now, it's all about the shoes, from what I understand. Ah, nice. So that flash you had, did you sleep on it? Well, that's the problem. I didn't sleep at all. I was thinking about it all night long. So you really think this kid's a killer, huh? Come on, man. No, I don't. Yeah, but you had that flash that said he killed Lisa. Yeah, well, that's just the thing. He said he killed her. There's a difference. Not if he killed her. Does he look like a killer to you? Yeah, that's what they say about all killers. Oh, he was so nice and quiet. Who knew he liked to make flower pots out of mailman skulls? You gonna tell Detective Delicious about this? Who, uh, Charlie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, what am I gonna tell? Hey, Charlie, got no evidence. I got no reliable source. Uh, we can, can you gonna help me? I'll go for the red, by the way. You think the red? Why are you so desperate to believe this kid is innocent? Well, when I was 15, I was in this foster family from hell, so I took off. I was on the streets for three months. I get it, man. You gotta say things to protect yourself. You ever claim you killed someone to protect yourself? Well, no, but it's the same idea. Are you trying to convince me or yourself? 
So this kid reminds you of yourself or something equally movie of the week, but uh, it's like I put down on this sick new track, yo. You're what? You're... Some kids are just born bad. Two wit. Par exemple. Hey, Ellen said she bought Lisa a ticket home. Maybe she went home. Okay, we'll check it out if she's not there. I'll tell Charlie everything. Hey, uh, is Lisa there? Sorry to bother you. So there's no Lisa? You sure? Uh, hello? No, I don't want any free samples. Like, please. I know I called you. Sorry for calling you. Are there any relatives by that name? She's a teenager. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry to bother you. Hello, is Lisa there? Who is this? Uh, this is Toby Logan. I'm a paramedic in Toronto. Something happened to her? No. Are you Lisa Grayson's mother? Yes. I'm... Margaret Grayson, I'm... please, I'm, I'm her mother. Tell me if something's happened to her. No. No, I mean, uh, I don't know. Look, I don't... I don't understand why... Why are you calling here? Do you know my daughter? No. No. I just wanted to call uh, to... This conversation is over. Goodbye. Who's Lisa Grayson? Her name is Toby, say it. Toby. Toby Logan, say it again. Toby Logan. That's the only name you've ever had, okay? It's Friday night, I'm in my ride, it's an ambulance. You're cruising huh? up and down the street for a ambulance. A girl's to see right? it's an emergency, Woo! I take a chance. And when my siren screams, what? it means I won't go man. Mr. Vey, you got yourself a package here. My demos. It's my demos. Thank you. Would you please? Oh, baby. There you go. Oh, man. Hey, you know, that's going to be worth something one day. Enjoy. I'm going to thrill again. Yeah, you know, thrill again. It's like kill again. It's a play on words. Hey, sir, you want one of my demos? Hello? You're mad. Uh, right now? Okay, I'm on my way. See your little shadows here again. I invited him. What is it this time? I'm working a case and Toby happens to be involved in it. Happens to be involved. Or maybe it's more that uh, he just put himself right in the middle of it like he always does. What difference does it make? I mean, if he's got information, I'm gonna use it. Right. Anything else? Hey there. I was just coming to get you. Good, well, saved you the trouble. So I'm at the front desk when another detective is talking about some woman from White Rock, BC, who got a prank call from some clown named Toby Logan. Okay, it wasn't a prank call. All right. Thank you. She's here? Yeah, in the conference room. Uh, Tell me about her daughter. Uh, Okay, I think that Daniel might have killed her daughter. Do you have any solid evidence or proof of this? No. Well, you can't go in there and tell her that. What am I supposed to say? Margaret, this is Toby Logan. Toby. I'm sorry. Please just tell me what you know about my daughter's whereabouts. I don't know where she is. Careful, Toby. I don't. Then tell us what you do know. Someone bought Lisa a bus ticket home. But she didn't get there. I think it's a possibility. Th this is just what I think here. Go on. Please. Well, I think that 
she she could be she might be in some kind of trouble Miss Grayson did Lisa ever mention a kid named Daniel I, I don't think so will this Daniel know where she is I'm not sure can I talk to this Daniel Balls in your court, Logan. Court, Logan. What do you want, Skid Mark? I just want you to meet someone. I'm Detective Charlie Marks. I just want to ask you a few questions. Um, do you know Elisa Grayson? Lisa. From you, I thought. What have you, what have you done to yourself? Mom, um, I'm Daniel now. Sweetie, you're making a terrible mistake. You're too young to make a decision like this. I've known since I was six. You could change your mind. And there's therapy in it. They could discover a drug. If you do this, there's no going back. You don't understand. Look, we'll go home, we'll, we'll talk, we'll get you on, we'll get you back on antidepressants. I, I'm not depressed anymore, Mom. My baby girl, I thought I lost. You lost your daughter, Mom. And unless you can accept that, you're gonna lose me too. Maybe if we go back to the church. Lisa, you can't do this. You still don't understand. You'll never understand. Gone. I don't know where he is. What are you gonna do? We found your missing child. The rest is up to you. Or I can give you a ride back to the hotel if you want. You coming? Uh, I'll be a minute. I not imagine wanting to get a sex change. I'm a guy, you know? Perfect. I don't have to smell good. I don't have to pluck anything. It, it's amazing to me that you don't have a girlfriend. Oh, shut up. I can relate to what this kid's going through. Say what? Having to hide who you really are from your friends, your family, the whole world. I completely understand that. And then I come around, this kid's got a brand new life, and I ruin it for him. Toby, don't worry about it. We'll find him, okay? No, Oz, I gotta stop getting into people's lives. You know, I have said that before. When? Uh, does that sound like something like that? No. Find Daniel yet? No, no, I'm having a hard time. He's 
think you can help me out here? It's not a police matter. It's for social services. You know, if Ramon gets to him first, he's going to be all over him. You're a cop. You've been to where he hangs. OK, well, maybe you got a point. But maybe we did a good thing. And maybe Daniel stayed away from Ramon. I can't. He won't. He needs to get more steroids first. You know he's not cut out for the streets. Girl to boy, transgenders need testosterone. Daniel's been shooting steroids because that's all he can get. So that's why he's hitting the drugstores to get what he needs. All right, I'll write a report. We find Daniel, we'll bring him in. So it's, it's not enough to shake down Ramon and in the process ask more Daniels? Do you think he's going to tell us? Logan. Can you hear me? Yeah. I hear you. Come on, Logan. You gotta let me do my job. You didn't hear me. So this Daniel is Lisa. Yeah. She pretended to leave and came back as Daniel. Then I guess he told people that he killed Lisa you know, to gain some kind of respect. I wish she would have told me. Well, maybe she felt she couldn't tell anybody. This guy, Beggy, I think he knows where Daniel is. Sorry, I wish I could help you. All right, thanks. The ride was so scary. Can we get butterflies? Hey, cuz. I need you to help me find Daniel. You know all along, didn't you? You knew about Daniel and Lisa. That's why you didn't want to talk to me about it. I need to find where Baggy is. Because if I don't, this time it won't just be Lisa who's dead. It might be Daniel. Me? I see 10 bucks a pop, right? Maybe. Fellas, take care now. Where's Daniel? I know about Ramon in the drugstores. What are we doing tonight? I'm with you. I'm with you. No, man. I, I don't really know. You don't know? You don't really know? I just did. Daniel goes down tonight. Hey, Oz, come meet me at my place. They're gonna kill Daniel tonight. Hood. I've seen the shamrock. Okay, you're the telepath. Well, I don't know how else to find Daniel. Hopefully, Ramon will lead us to him in the pharmacy they're gonna break into. Okay, I get that part, but then then what do we do? Well, we're gonna go in there and get him out of there if something happens. Personally, I think we should just call Detective Parks on this. Well, I have. I left her a few messages. And? And that's why we're sitting in my car in front of the place that Ramon supposedly hangs at. You're so smart. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm hungry. We just ate half a convenience store. Well, when I'm bored, I eat. You get bored a lot? Is that a fat joke? Oh, I... Ready for this bad? 
Maggie? Yeah. You did? Good. Who, me? Yeah. I changed my mind. I think it's time you got your hands dirty. Show me what type of nuts you got. All right? Yeah. You're holding off your best customers. You wouldn't do it, would you? No, man, you know I gave you all my business. <laughs> what do we have here? Is that the deal? So you're going to rat me out, get yourself a free ride, and then start the deal all over again, huh? Is that what you think? No, look, I never look. I never told the cops you're anything. Lying. Listen, OK? I need the right Shut up, Danny. Just look, I can throw it. Shut up! Hey! Ah. 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 Hey! Where you going? Where you go? You all right? Yeah, my arm always bleeds like this. Oh, that's good. For a second there, I thought he broke his sarcasm bone. Sit down, man. be okay. Thanks. Why is it always so complicated? You know, just wondering who I am, what I am. You know, I used to ask myself that a lot. Most people do. I spend their whole lives trying to figure it out. You're pretty young, man. You seem like you got it together. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, you sound like a cheesy pamphlet. Yeah, I do. All right, it's a little lame. It doesn't mean it's not true. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. It's OK, I understand. Lisa, I'm going to leave you guys alone. Hello, Mom. We've got an early flight. And I've set up an appointment for you and me, for the two of us, honey. Dr. Patterson. I don't need to see Dr. Patterson. We can work this out together. I'll deal with what you want to be. I don't want you to deal with anything. Sweetheart, I love you. I'm sorry. I, I've been wrong. I just want you to accept me. Who I am. I can't do that. I will. I'll try. Oh, God. I'm not going home with you. Please don't say that. Yes, you are. You are everything to me. I love you. I love you, Mom. But my name is Dan. I want to take you home with me. I think I have to stay here. For now.
Hey, how you doing? Uh, Osmond Bay. Oz for short, probably. We got two of us on this list tonight. You gentlemen are not on the list, yeah? No, no, no. Hold on. We saved Young Thunder's life, dog. Sir, we saved his life. That's all I'm saying. It's my boy. He's a friend. Oh, it's from the hospital. Pen! Is that even my city? No, I know, it's mine. That was the best. Hey, thanks for what's going on, people. Ooh, hot girls, y'all people. Come on with me, y'all come right there. Thunder! We are, I, didn't, I didn't want you to sign, it's my demo. Here. Okay. Alright. You have a good night. Hey, Oz. Oz. I snuck a demo into his jacket. And so it begins. I'm feeling sky high.